What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So today I have something a bit different. Um, obviously I have the, a pair of Air Jordan 4s in front of me, but I can guarantee you these are not your regular Air Jordan 4s. These are actually the Air Jordan 4 Golfs uh, in the military blue colorway. Now, if you're not interested in golf or any, like for that matter, golf shoes at all, you know, you can just always go back and watch some different videos, but I highly suggest that you guys stick around because the quality and the finishing on this model is really, really nice and it's worth checking out, I think. So anyways, um, Jordan Brand kind of teased us that we were gonna get the uh, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blues this year, and there were rumors that they were gonna re-release, but it turns out they were actually golf shoes, just like the white cements that, you know, uh, re-released uh, in the golf shoe form. So that was a di pretty, uh, big disappointment for a lot of people, but you know, we can always keep our hopes up because they'll definitely re-release sometime in the near future. But having said that, let's dive right into the shoe and you know, check what everything this is about. Uh, the entire upper of the shoe is constructed using this crisp white leather here. And I would say that the leather is just, you know, your regular Degular Air Jordan 4 leather. Uh, it's just that, you know, the stitching and the finishing on this model is just immaculate. I mean, I, I've seen a couple of, you know, Air Jordan 4 models recently. It's just that for some reason, the, 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 the QC on this pair is just you can't even compare to the other Air Jordan 4s, and it's very interesting. Now, on the side panel, you have that uh, typical Air Jordan 4 TPU netting all done in white, and underneath that, you got this kind of shiny blue mesh material in that military blue color. And right on top of that, you've got this uh, gray TPU bridge material, which connects to the uh, TPU blue waffle lace lock. And also, you, it's really, really smooth. And then moving towards the front of the shoe, you see that more of that white leather extending all the way towards the toe box. And for the mud guard, you have this kind of like new buck material in gray, uh, which is quite smooth to the touch. And you obviously have no perforated holes here on the toe box. And then moving towards the center of the shoe, you see more of that TPU netting here with the blue mesh underneath it uh, for the tongue. And then you've got these factory laces uh, I mean, the cotton laces factory laced onto the shoe and they're really, really choked up. So uh, once again, if you want to put these on, you got to really loosen them up a little bit. And moving towards the uh, tip of the tongue, you've got that uh, nylon tag done in white with a blue Jumpman logo and the flight text underneath it done in black and it's stitched onto this nice supple piece of leather for the tongue. And what's interesting is that this tongue isn't that puffy. Uh, you know, the Air Jordan 4 models vary in the cushioning for the tongue from time to time. And this is quite different from the uh, the Lightning 4s that we've seen lately. This is a bit, a bit of a thinner version. And right behind the tongue, you've got this, you know, piece of, I guess, like this military blue cotton uh, material here and with the uh, nylon tab with the Air Jordan text upside down stitched onto the back of the tongue. And then for the sock liner, you've got this, I guess, like some light gray material, light gray cotton material for the sock liner. And on the insole, you've got that military blue colored insole with the Jumpman logo printed in white. And interestingly, you also have that golf text printed in white as well. These will probably come off like after one wear, but it's still cool to see, you know, Jordan Brand switching things up uh, with different models. Now on the back side, you've got that beautiful, beautiful uh, heel counter done in that military blue color with this TPU material. Well, obviously you've got this heel, uh, heel tab here as well. And I guarantee you that these are gonna shred your ankles if you do not wear long socks. So you might wanna keep that in mind. And then on top of that, you got the Jordan Jumpman logo done in white. And 
the medial side is basically the same deal. And again, I, I can guarantee you that the QC uh, on this model is exceptional. And it kind of pisses me off that Jordan brand wouldn't do this for every single Jordan 4 release because I, I don't know. Obviously this model has a higher resale price point because it is a performance shoe. Uh, it's, it's built quite differently with different materials, but still, I, I mean, they can really kick their uh, QC up a notch because I, that the Tor Yellow Fours that released recently didn't have the best QC in my opinion. I mean, I still love the shoe. It's just that I can't stop thinking that you know it's it's kind of weird that Jordan Brand is just not giving us the the hundred percent in terms of QC. But enough of that. Uh, moving to the midsole, you've got this nice, nice mute, uh, military blue um, EVA midsole here, and the paint job is quite nice. As you can see, you you, you don't have any like cracks or you know like mispainted parts or anything like that. It's just that smooth, crisp painting all around, and it's just beautiful. And then you see more of that white midsole here as well, with a little um, hint of blue here on the on the front area. And you obviously see that uh, visible air air unit on the back side of the shoe. And then this is where things get crazy. This is the you know the performance part of the shoe where you got this uh, clear uh, plastic outsole um, with these uh, spikes. These are for the the fields, obviously. And here on the forefoot area, you've got some sort of this like traction pattern. This is not your typical Airdrin 4 traction, although this does have that the star pattern here on the tip of the uh, the outsole here on the front, and then on the mid part of the uh, outsole, you've got that very mesmerizing like military blue color um, uh, detail with the Jordan Jumpman logo here in the middle as well. And then on the back side, you see more uh, spikes and the traction pad is quite different from your you know, regular Air Jordan 4 model. So again, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, if they, if Jordan Brand released these as your regular Air Jordan 4 retro of the military blue color, I mean, people would have gone crazy. The QC, I can't emphasize anymore that, you know, it's just unbelievable that Jordan Brand is able to do this and they just won't give us the, uh, you know, the 100%. It's, it's so weird and it kind of pisses me off in some way. I think they could do a far better job. I just checked where these are from. These are actually from Chinese factories and I know, as far as I know, other Air Jordan 4 models come from uh, Chinese factories. So, I mean, whichever factory that is, they should be working with them more and more because that factory can pull off a really, really uh, nicely put together pair of shoes as far as um, quality goes. I'm not saying that the materials like any different. It just feels the same. It's just that, you know, the craftsmanship is on a different level with this model. And it's just very interesting to see that. But anyways, this model does not come with an extra set of laces and the box was just your regular degular kind of like black Air Jordan 4. Um, no, not really like an Air Jordan box. It's not your like cement print, whatever. It's just a, a regular Jordan box. I'm not going to show you the boxes because it's boring, but but uh, in my opinion, I don't think I'll be playing in golf in these because, I mean, Air Jordan 4s aren't that comfortable to begin with. They are pretty heavy, so I don't um, see myself wearing these f for like hours and hours outdoors uh, playing golf because these aren't going to be the most comfortable shoes. But if you want that extra flair uh, in your play, these are definitely, a, definitely a really, really nice pickup. Um, I mean, these are going to, you know, you're going to get a lot of attention. People are going to ask you a lot of questions about them because these are very, very clean and very fresh as far as the colorway, the shape of the model. It's just it's just out there. It's crazy. And um, sizing wise, I haven't put these on, so I'm going to be careful about the sizing because if there are people who are planning to buy these to actually play golf in them, I highly suggest you guys you know, like try them out like if they have them in stores because like you don't want to want a pair of shoes like that it's like it's just too tight or too loose when you go out on the fields but my general experience with Airdrin 4s is that 
true to size should be fine, but if you have super wide feet, you might want to consider going half a size up because there are going to be some points that, you know, apply unnecessary pressure onto your feet. For instance, this, uh, you know, this EVA uh, plastic piece here or maybe like the uh, the toe box area like the netting here could really dig into your toes so I would suggest that you would just like try on some you know a couple of different Air Jordan 4s if you can um, and then you kind of make your decision because I know a lot of there there were some Jordan 4s like sitting in stores um, and I, I know that for a fact so you probably can get your hands on a pair of 4s if you wanted to but you know anyways that's it um, for today I'm not going to talk about wearability because if you were to wear these you're gonna have to wear them with your golf outfit and oh i wanted to add that if there's somebody out there who's thinking about you know, removing the these spikes and wearing these casually i highly advise you that you don't do that because this thing is probably going to kill you this the the plastic outsole is is really really slippery i can just feel my fingers just like gliding against the material so if unless you want to like crack your skull or anything like that just don't just stay away from these uh for daily use but anyways that's it for today uh hopefully i'll be able to you know cop more shoes to to review for you guys but if you guys enjoyed watching this video please hit that subscribe button it really really helps my channel grow and i'll be back with soon with more content thanks for watching